It's uh, October the 30th out here today. It's a uh, pretty chilly fall day. It's about minus one out right now and it's only about five o'clock. I'm uh, just out at this beaver chew site right along the little ditch and swamp whatever here next to the community pasture uh, right by home. And uh, the beavers I knew were coming up here quite a bit. You can see one slideway there. They're chewing all over up here. And they were coming up through here majorly. And uh, I put a 330 in here to catch them coming from out there up on the land. I kind of drug some mud up right here. And uh, that was a couple days ago. And there's our result. Looks like a pretty decent sized beaver. Hung up on every stick in here, of course. Well, I'd say that's a, a pretty decent sized beaver, all right. I got him staked to this stick right here. Now I can see I'm going to have to do some untangling here, so I won't bother leaving the camera run for that. So, uh, well, right on. Here's the first beaver out of this spot. It's actually more of an animal control job, but it's that time of year. I'll skin them out and take the meat from Art and Bait come winter. Right on. Thanks for watching. There we pulled that beaver out of the swamp there and hiked it back to the road. Figured I'd take another quick video of it here. You can see it's a not a bad sized beaver. It's not a super huge one. You can see that they are definitely starting to prime up. The underfur is coming through good. The guard hairs are long. And uh, this was a good catch right behind the ears. So it was probably lights out for him pretty quickly. This uh, conibear trap is strong, so there was definitely not a lot of fight there. We caught him just probably about 100 yards over and through there. All right, right on.